welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I just want to firstly say a massive thank you to everybody that got in touch last time and reached out after watching my first ever YouTube video. I was so anxious about sharing it, but I was overwhelmed with the amount of support that I've received. I've also had lots of messages from women that are navigating their way through their own journey and I know it's exhausting and sometimes extremely isolating so I hope that these videos do help in one way or another. So for anyone who didn't check out my first video, my name's Jade and I'm an IVF mum to a beautiful baby girl who turns three next month. Myself and my partner Ian struggled with unexplained infertility for years before having Layla. We had her through two rounds of IVF with Vixie and she was actually a frozen embryo. So what I'm going to do today is just talk you through what we've been up to the last three to four weeks and talk you through our plan for the next three to four weeks. Uh, if any of you've got any questions at all, please do feel free to reach out and get in touch. You can pop them in the comments or if you'd like more of a private conversation, you can connect with me through my Instagram channel or through my Facebook. And I'll be happy to talk you through any questions that you may have. As always, I welcome your feedback because it's nice to know um, what you guys want to hear as well. So check this out. I hope you enjoy it and I will speak to you all soon. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well. So <laughs> excuse the state of me and my hair. I literally still look half asleep. Um, Layla is at nursery this morning and so it's quite quiet here. Um, I am just opening a little package that I've received and I'm so excited because it's something I've wanted for a while um, and I'm really excited to trial it um, and see how it goes and share it with you all. So I am going to show you what it is and I haven't got a clue really how it works yet. I've got some investigating to this morning. I've just had a lot of things. So I'm just got it out of this box. Is, guys it's a myra fertility kit please don't look at the state of my nails they're minging um and it's like a monitor and it detects like your hormones so it's really personal to you it's really accurate um and i'm just so 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 excited the reviews on this are absolutely incredible so um yeah i'm so excited to actually find out how it works start using it and share it with you all because i think this is really exciting and it's definitely going to help us be more accurate about when I'm ovulating and obviously that's going to help us and give us the best chances um, of conceiving naturally. So basically I've been using this for the last two days um, and I'm actually at the end of my fertile window but it was just by the time it came I really wanted to try it out and see what it was like. Um, so I used it on the first day and got like a low fertility. I thought yeah I'm well out of my fertile window now anyway that's totally fine. Um, and then the next morning I woke up, and just me being me, um, I really wanted to test again because it came up on my app like about when I need to test next. And I was like, oh, you need, I need to test 10 days in a month anyway, so I'm going to like use a fresh 10 next month. So I might as well just use another one this month and then like, I'll replenish my kit. Um, and I did, and I've got a high fertility. amazing little chart on your app and I was something like 11 the first day like totally low and the next day was like 3 and I was like oh my god I'm going to go into my app and like oh my god that was so good I was so like to have that information there and I was like what? I never ever knew for one minute that I could ovulate this late in my cycle like I've never known Never, never had that before, um, and I really struggle struggle with regular like fertility, like over the counter ovulation kits. So I was so so happy when um, I got that surge. So for two days of just trying it, I wasn't even going to fully trial it until next month. Like properly for ten days, I've learned something incredible about my cycle. So I just feel like this was the power of the universe. I was meant to have that kit when it arrived, and I was meant to. Um, test on those days. So yeah, I absolutely cannot rate this little fertility kit enough and I'm hoping it's going to make all the difference over the next couple of months. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> so fast forward a couple of weeks and with the current lockdown sitch, I'm panic buying pregnancy tests. Like the only way I can describe it when you struggling with fertility and you go and buy pregnancy tests is now I've had a baby it's like buying baby clothes like the excitement is real but this is the reality of another month and another negative pregnancy test 
I just couldn't even get any words out to talk to you all. I tried, but I, I just couldn't. So yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy month for us, but I'm okay. Um, anyone who's on the same journey or who's ever been through anything like this will totally understand when I say it is a roller coaster of emotions. So I don't know about you, but I start the month like, right, I'm not gonna get my hopes up this month. I'm gonna be more relaxed about it. And it's just fine. What will be, will be. And then as soon as you come to your fertile window and you find out that you're ovulating, you're like, oh my God, right, this is cool. Like, this is exciting. Potentially this might be the month. And then towards the end of your cycle, you're tracking every single symptom. Oh, my boobs hurt. Oh, I feel like this. Oh, I'm hormonal today. Oh, maybe I'm pregnant. I've got a twinge in my tummy. Oh my God, maybe that's an embryo implanting. And then your cycle starts all over again. And you feel absolutely dreadful. And everywhere I look this month, people are falling pregnant. Um, and I am, I'm, I totally understand when women really struggle to see other women fall pregnant. I am so happy. I would never want anyone else to go through this journey because it's really difficult. And I'm a bit of the belief that God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And while I'm not necessarily saying that infertility is the toughest battle in the world, it certainly is something that I never saw coming my way when I was younger um, or a situation I ever would imagine myself to be in. Um, and I believe that like I've done it once, I'll do it again. And that potentially the reason it's happened to me is so I can sort of support and inspire and empower other women to feel like they can deal with it and get through this as well so yeah it's been a crazy month um but we've got some exciting stuff coming up this month so back in March I was um referred to have a high cozy done because I never had my tubes checked before my first round of IVF so um just for anyone who doesn't really understand your um fallopian tubes your ovaries produce an egg each month or they're supposed to um, and the egg will be released and it will go through your open tubes down into your uterus where it's meant to come into contact with some sperm if it's going to be fertilised and you're going to fall pregnant. Um, but a high cosy is where dye is flushed for your tubes and you have an ultrasound so they can see if there's any blockages. There can be all different reasons why there's um, blockages in your tubes but I never had it checked the first time round so this time um, I want to just I just want to know like if there's a problem with my tubes is that is that why we've been struggling all this time I was never referred for one the first time around and I didn't understand it so if you are on your fertility journey and you're not sure why you're getting pregnant you're not getting pregnant you can always get in contact with like your healthcare provider and find out if they can do a high cozy for you um and just have a little look and make sure that your tubes are nice and clear so I've got that booked for the 26th of this month and um, as it stands I'm not allowed to take Ian with me um I'm a little bit anxious don't I'm know sorry. what to expect but having two rounds of IVF before and numerous tests um, I mean I'm kind of um, it's not necessarily the fact that I've got to have it done it's just um the procedure's a little bit weird I suppose um so yeah I'm gonna take you guys with us on that journey um, and I'm just going to keep vlogging and doing little day diaries and stuff to include in my next vlog because I don't want this to be boring. I hate the idea of me walking on for too long a period of time. I just want it to be short and to the point. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, and I've got something exciting to share with you on my next um, vlog already. It's something completely different. But um, I'm excited to be able to use my Myra again to see how I get on with my fertility and tracking again this month. Although I won't be able to actively try, I can still try and pinpoint my ovulation and see if it was the same as last month. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to leave that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give me your feedback. If you like it, let me know. If you love it, please subscribe. Um, I think you do need to have a Google email in order to be able to subscribe to YouTube, but you can just create one really quickly. It takes like two seconds um, and I would absolutely love the support from you all. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy the rest of your week and I look forward to catching up with you all soon.